Hey everybody, we got 66 orders going out over the weekend totaling $2,943. Let's get to pulling and packing. Hope you're all doing well. My name is Bo. I am a full-time eBay reseller. I post a couple videos every week because I want to show you what has sold in our eBay store. So the next time that you go outsourcing, maybe you can find some of these items as well to help grow your eBay store. Let's get into it. Men's t-shirt, brand The Rail, sold for $10 plus $5.95 shipping. All right, so like I said in the past video, I mentioned that I hadn't been listing women's clothing for like the past three months. I have been listing now for the past week, mixing in some women's clothing into the men's clothing that I've been listing. So I sold this Free People women's shirt for $15 plus $5.95 shipping. And I just wanted to mention it is so important that you stay active in the categories that you're listing. So if you're selling shoes in your store, make sure that you're listing at least one pair of shoes a day. If you're selling hats in your store, make sure you're listing at least one hat a day. And by doing that, it's just telling eBay that you are being active in that category so therefore they're going to continue to give you traffic according to what you're putting in to that category so that's a good side note because my women's clothing sales were struggling because I hadn't been listing any women's clothes for the past couple months these are some Ralph Lauren denim Durango pants sold for $45 plus $8.95 shipping all right so next up here is a Perry Ellis corduroy pleated pants, new with tags, sold for $29.95 plus $8.95 shipping. And I just want to mention most of these items, I'd say about 40 to 50% of the items that we're selling these days are from that bulk buyout that I did a couple months back. I bought out four storage units with about five to 6,000 pieces of some vintage, some not vintage, but all new with tags, men's clothing. If you're interested uh, in a little bit more about how I found those items, I'll put a link up here where it goes more in detail on how I came about those items and the strategy that I used to acquire about 6,000 new with tag pieces. And these didn't come from the storage unit buyout. This is just from the Goodwill bins, the brand LB Tech men's kind of nylon pants sold for $17 plus $8.95 shipping. So I don't know if y'all heard this brand, Nova. I don't know if you could see it. New with tags sold for $18 plus $5.95 shipping. Be on the lookout for anything Nova. Calvin Klein men's t-shirt sold for $13.37 plus $5.95 shipping. New with tags. So this is kind of a cool vintage piece. It's just a regular men's t-shirt, collared velvet, new with tags by the brand In Private. Sold for $18 plus $8.95 shipping. Um, also a storage unit purchase, new with tags. Cost me about 70 to 80 cents for this. All right, next up is the Zenergy Women's Chino Pants, nylon. Um, picked them up at a thrift store for $4. They sold for $16 plus $8.95 shipping. Simple sale here, combined order are these Kenneth Cole Reaction New with Tag Jeans, sold for $80 plus $18 shipping. All right, so I don't know if you're aware, but if you find these uh, Polo Ralph Lauren Vintage Camp uh, t-shirts uh, made in Philippines, this one was new with tags. It sold for $77 plus $5.95 shipping. So be on the lookout uh, for these Vintage Camp men's button-up Ralph Lauren shirts. They can have some good value. Nautica New with Tags Full Zip Sweater. The pattern is herringbone. Sold for $16 plus $8.95 shipping. I also want to show just some of the bread and butter sales that have been coming in because I would say 70 to 80% of our store is items that are sold for $20 and less. Um, th that's what keeps our store running. It's not these big high priced home run items that are really hard to find. I list about three to 400 items a week. So I need to be able to find common items so I have common sales. And I know I've been showing some of those vintage pieces. Those are great and all, but they are harder to find. So I'm just here to help you be able to find those items that are so easy and in abundance. For example, these women's H&M pants sold for $10 plus $8.95 shipping, but we sell these every other day. Whereas like an item like an Arcteryx jacket is like a once in a month, once in a six months type of deal, you know, that goes for four to six hundred dollars. But I'd rather 
stack money with these common items. I just say, just don't be let down if you're not finding those home run grail items because you can build a six figure business off of Levi's, off of Gap. Another combined order, a Perry Ellis sweater with a rustic dime t-shirt sold for $34 plus shipping. Daniel Chameau, new a tag sport coat sold for $50 plus $8.95 shipping. Calvin Klein wool sweater, men's new a tag sold for $39 plus $8.95 shipping. All right, so we have another Calvin Klein sweater purchase, new with tags. This is a combined order, um, sold for $60 plus shipping. Pair of Timberland jeans sold for $26 dollars plus shipping these were new with tags and the style is kittery so if you ever find that timberler and jeans always sell for good money all right so we have another combined order of some four pairs of pants we have some kenneth cole and ralph lauren pants new with tags sold for 175 dollars plus shipping this is a north face new with tag shirt kind of a rugby style polo sold for 40 dollars plus shipping so we have a beautiful Arc'teryx sale, and these are discontinued. The Gamma SV jacket sold for $250 plus shipping. I have found about 20 to 30 Arc'teryx jackets, new with tags, all from about 2005 to 2007. And I'm coming to find out that most of these uh, models are discontinued, so they even have a higher value. So I need to make sure I do research and check comps and make sure I don't underprice things as these have been selling like crazy. Arc'teryx is so awesome, I might even get an Arc'teryx tattoo. Just kidding. All right, so a great sale here was this Arc'teryx Beta AR Gore-Tex jacket sold for $420 plus shipping. Like I said, we all know as resellers, we want to be on the lookout for this brand right here. Have a pair of these Cole Haan boots sold for $62 plus $12.95 shipping. New with tags, came in that storage unit buyout. I think I have accounted for over 200 pairs of shoes, though since they sat for so long, 20 plus years, I have to really make sure that the soles are intact, there's no splitting, and there's no dry rot. Some Prana women's pants sold for $14 plus $8.95 shipping. Well, I hope that this video was helpful to you in some way. And if you want to take your eBay store to the next level, consider joining my eBay coaching program. You can find it in the link down below and I will help you put a strategy in place that helped me achieve over $100,000 in sales on eBay within my first year. This strategy will give you direction, clarity, and most importantly, it will save you time Time is like a currency, and whatever you spend your time on, that's what you bought. So this coaching program will hold you accountable, so you will be able to achieve the goals that you have set and keep you on track. I believe in positive reinforcement to give you the drive to keep on going during the good times and the bad times. Everybody needs a coach. Do you have a coach? I'll see you there.